First thing first, we're gonna light up the night. And for this, we'll need our Shabbat candlesticks. Now, you can use just about any kind of candlesticks for this. You can use tall ones or short ones, old ones, new ones, tea lights, tapers, anything that will just bring a glow to the Shabbat table. These are my mother's candlesticks and they were her mother's before that. So soon we will light these candles and the flames will dance around, just flickering and wiggling, just to remind us of our spirit that also loves to flicker and wiggle and dance. But first, a grown-up will light this match. Ready? Now, as soon as I have these candles lit, a very important job for a very important person, that's you kids, is gonna help me by blowing out this match. Careful. All right. Now, we'll hold our arms around the light like a hug. And we'll bring this warm light close to us with three hugs, okay? One, two, three. And on the third hug, we bring our hands close to our eyes and we cover them up. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav V'tzivanu Lehad Likner Lehad Likner Shel Shabbat In the presence of all that is. We are grateful for the invitation to dance like candle flames, to connect with ancient elements, ourselves becoming more holy with every lighting. Okay, then you get to open up your eyes and hug and kiss everyone around the table. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat has officially started. And look at those wiggling, giggling, dancing flames. Does that remind you of anyone? Sometimes I like to take a moment and just say, whisper any prayer I like while I take a look at those beautiful candle flames. Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shabbat Shalom